This week, the Obama administration and select members of Congress offered two very different takes on President Obama's nuclear deal with Iran. During a brief press conference on Wednesday, Secretary of State John Kerry stressed that the agreement which had been made with Iran was the best one available and would result in the world becoming a safer place. We are convinced that the agreement that we have arrived at with world powers uh, is an agreement that will prevent Iran from uh, the potential of securing a nuclear weapon. It will make the region, our friends and allies, safer. It will make the world safer. And we are convinced that the uh, absence of any viable alternative absolutely underscores that fact. While the proposed nuclear deal has enjoyed support from Democrats, several notable Republicans have publicly come out against it. So the construct that S Secretary Kerry has in his mind, that there's a moderate uh, hardline element and we need to empower the moderates, I think is a gross misunderstanding of Iran. And the idea that you have to take this deal or we have a war comes from a weak-minded president and a secretary of state who wants a deal way too badly. At the end of the day, there is a better deal awaiting the world and the United States with a new president. This is the best deal Barack Obama could get because he's so weak in the eyes of our enemies and so unreliable in the eyes of our friends. The longer this deal is reviewed by the American people and they learn details like Qasem Soleimani and the Quds Force and the Revolutionary Guard Corps getting sanctions relief for the fact that it may take at least 24 days, if not weeks, to get access to disputed sites. I think the American people are going to weigh in and Congress is going to reflect their opinion and that we're going to kill this deal. President Obama has promised to exercise his veto if Congress rejects the Iran nuclear deal, and overriding it will require a two-thirds majority of both the House of Representatives and Senate.